Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Advance there, and welcome to this sort of cloudy afternoon on the Armour 3 airfield. Now today, something special guys, um, we're going to take a look at the uh, F-18E Super Hornet. Um, pretty impressive this, now I don't know if you're, most of the diehards are probably going to be aware of this, but sort of late, maybe a week, two weeks ago now, uh, all the tool set and the animation tool set were released to the public domain. Um, what that means is, is now the community can start building uh, vehicles, planes, mapping them in and so on. Now, this one guy basically has um, put together this uh, Hornet, a replica of, uh, fully functioning and added some nice features in there actually. It's pretty impressive. So, what I'm going to do, first of all, let's just get the disclaimer out of the way. Um, take off or landing could uh, result in a crash. Um, and if it, doesn't, um, if it doesn't involve one of them, it might be an eject. And if I land, well, fair enough. Now, unfortunately, when I'm making this video, I do not have flight sticks. I'm using a mouse, so all you die-hard uh, sim guys, apologize. This is more about just showing you what's available and what this chap's done. Now, okay, first of all, let's take a quick look around it. Pretty impressive. The animation looks nice. Paintwork looks nice. Uh, but there's a lot of options what you can do to this uh, um, Hornet, which we'll go through in a second. A quick run round, first of all, to give you a good idea. Now, everything is actually configured here, so it actually all works. So the folding wings, they actually fold down as well. So I'm going to say if it goes on a hanger, but we haven't got any hangers available. But, you know, for storage and stuff like that, in this example here, obviously having the fold down wings clearly doesn't make any difference. But look, it's, it's going on the realistic as possibly as you can, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, so we fold out the wings or we can jump in. Now, there is a little bit, there's a couple of little bugs here, guys. Uh, but hopefully they're going to work first time today. Let's have a look. Yep, they work. Fantastic. Right, and while I'm in this view, first of all, let's have a quick look round. As you can see, the wings are folded down. Now, you can fold down the wings from two places. One from outside and one from inside the cockpit. Makes total sense because, obviously, if, you know, you just want to taxi it, uh, you might just want to drop them, uh, them tips up or down. Um, and you might not want to jump in the cockpit. So, looks good. Aerial view. Absolute shed loads of weapons on board. Now, obviously, this thing is an absolute rapid. Uh, that'd be, I'd be lying to say anything different. Now, a lot to go for on this. Uh, this is more just a run through and just on what this chap's done, really. is pretty impressive. Um, and some of the things that he's actually configured in here as well. Okay, so looking at the menu screen, and normally in the menu screen, you would have something like flaps down, uh, you know, the odd one or two things, but in here you seem to have a rake load of stuff. The first one being obviously, which I've just shown you, which is the wingtips down, which I can do from here as well. Now, some of the other features added in here as well, obviously the engine off and the engine off and get out are the same. Afterburners on or off, uh, which is a nice feature. Uh, it's nice to, be able to turn it off. Obviously, it's folding the wings. We have a night vision HUD here, um, which obviously is not really sure if it's actually working at the moment because we're not obviously flying at night time. Now, formation markers, um, I'm assuming there's like the white lines of smoke for formation markers, I'm guessing. I will come back to that, this service menu in a minute because that's uh, quite a cool little thing he's added in here. Flaps down, flaps up. Yep, going right. Lights on. Uh, I can show you the lights as well. Look quite a nice animation, but I'll turn it on there. There we go. More like when you're taxiing, really, you know, when you're on the, um, when you landed, or when you're landing, such as such. Um, going back inside, we've got, we further down, we've got console lights on or off. Now, the console lights, obviously, if I put them on now, obviously, it's going to make no difference. The only the time the console lights work are obviously when the engine are on. If that is how the uh, Hornet should work in real life, I don't know, but that's how it's set here. Now, the last one is the service menu. I'm not going to click on anything in here because this is quite a lot to go, you know, click on, but I'll show you what's in here. Now, inside the uh, service area, what you can do is you can rearm for a start. Now, you can rearm any one of the points as well. So you get the idea. You can rearm it whatever you want, whatever what payload you want. Uh, or you can do like the, you just say empty. You can say multi-roll, you know, you get the idea. There's a couple of like quick payload options there so you don't have to sit around and configure it. But I love the fact that you can reconfigure everything and I like what's been done here. It's very good. Um, so 10 out of 10 on that one. Um, so going back in there as well, there's a couple of options as well. Paint scheme, uh, so you can change like the way the paint scheme is um, and select different paint options here uh, if you don't like the current one that's selected. And there's two other options here. Both of these at the moment um, are empty. 
but I think this is like the first or third release. Um, so pretty impressive. Now, oh, that was the easy bit for me, guys. Now it's taking off and landing is just going to be totally stressful. But, you know, I'm going to give it a go. I, I want to show you the eject animation. Now, there's some stuff that he's added in here. It's pretty cool. He's added like steaming up with the glass inside uh, around the edges, which is pretty cool. And it's just little things, you know. He's added an eject to seat animation. So, you, you, you know, you, you eject with the base stuck to you the same way you would eject normally in the uh, Hornet. Which is pretty cool as well. Um, and there's lots of other stuff that's been added in here that makes this quite unique and, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely worth having a go um, because obviously we don't, we don't have a massive amount of planes at the moment. So, you know, download it and give it a go. And I'll, I've li I'll leave a link in the uh, description so you can download it and install it. It's like super easy to install, guys. Um, so, straightforward to do. So we're going to start right now. I might have to go into what I call DEFCON 5 mode where I don't talk for a while. You'll see why, because the noise of this thing is absolutely uh, just deafening, uh, which is sort of makes it a little bit more immersive, actually. So anyway, engine on. This is it, quiet. So now the, the slight bug here is obviously these little mirror things here. Whatever, I think they're supposed to be mirrors are oh, flickering a little bit, so they probably need a little bit of adjustment. I think this is something like V1.2 of the Hornet, so... We're going to expect to see an update from this uh, little developer who's, who's put this together. Can't complain, can we? Let's be honest. It, it is a bit irritating, I must admit. Uh, but, you know, for this, for the purpose of this, we can, you know, either fly outside just to get rid of that flashing, which can be annoying. But anyway, right. So, propulsion, as you can see, there's a, there's a little bit of animation when we start moving. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the... Very slowly... Look first, make sure there's nothing. There's not. Isn't it? He's gone. Isn't he Just saw him in there a second ago. Now the, the advantage of with this uh, Hornet is you don't need much runway to take off. You can take off within you know maybe 50 meters. It's very very powerful. <laughs> uh, it's understatement of the year, and that's probably going to be one of my challenges um, in landing this thing. Is uh, just landing the thing is just going to be hard work. But guys, look, if I crash, I crash. Uh, it's not about my pilot skills here. This is more about, uh, you know, showing you guys, you know, what's available. Right, anyway, I'm going to have to shut up now. Let's just see if I can take off. We'll get a bit quieter in a minute. Let's just see. Right now, I'm going to try and show you all the animations while I'm here, guys. I'm shouting over this, but look, here we go. Right. The other options they have, I'm going to have to start shouting a little bit now, is, uh, okay, so we got, but let's just turn the afterburners off, quiet that down, probably won't make any difference. Uh, let's put the, first of all, let's put the gear up. There we go, gear's up. Now, I want to show you this as well, it's pretty cool. Obviously, we can't use this at the moment. Uh, let me just find it. Once I like on, where is it? is something else that I'm looking for. No. Oh, there we are. Refueling probe. There we are. Is that actually down or up? Alright. Well, maybe, maybe, I think there's a, a good possibility that the uh, refueling probe can only be used um when the landing gear is down maybe I'll have to try that in a second but I'm just running out of space so I'm going to have to sort of do a bit of a turn so weaponry what have we got let's wait until we find a bit of land shall we we've got a bit of speed now obviously the, the amount of the speed we're doing is uh, pretty serious afterburners saying on there Have a target down there, but it's more of a. So we've got. Let's take a look at the first weaponry we got here. We've got AIM 120Cs. Let's have a look. Not bad, not bad. So we're going to do a fly around again, um, and then I'm going to switch out then for the next one, which is the AMG 6. Is that? I think a 650. That's right. 
So we'll have to head out to sea just a slightly. A little bit more power there. Bank round now. Very, very fast. This. I mean, I think I think actually, I can't remember the speed of the other fighter that's available in um, Armor Three at the moment. But this is uh, seriously, seriously fast. Okay, so AMG fifty uh, six fifty. Let's give this a go. But actually, why I'm here, I should actually really. Why I'm in the middle of the blooming sea. Get the bearings and then head towards blooming land. You know, within a couple of seconds, you could be in the middle of the Blooming Sea, as you've just witnessed. Don't really want to sort of attack our own airport. Probably not quite a good idea, is it? Looks pretty impressive inside, I must admit. They sort of have a part, obviously, the partial zoom. So I'm just going to unleash a couple of these. I think we've got some large bombs as well, so we're going to give them a go as well. So let's give it, let's give a blast down here. Not quite on the last ones. Not smaller explosions. These look quite small to start with. Now we've got two G3U12 LGBs. Uh, let's give this one a go as well. Now, I've imagined that that was actually uh, Here we go. I had this before a couple of times in one of the playing armor. Sometimes when you drop the bombs, you actually don't see the explosion. Just like the uh, 480 gallon fuel tank. So you can actually drop your fuel tank. I don't really want to do that right now, guys. Uh, we do that when things start going wrong, maybe. Okay, so... As you can see, pretty cool, pretty impressive so far. Oh, I think I've actually forgot. Actually, we've got the uh, the um, M61A2 as well, which is just basically a 20 millimeter cannon, really. Uh, pretty going rate, really. So now, I suppose it's the dreaded landing, isn't it? Uh, before we do that, actually, I might show you some of the animation, actually. Let's, let's go, I know I'm going to go into Die Hard View, but let's see if we can show you some of the animation here. It's pretty blooming cool. Uh, so it's all been well thought out of. Uh, let's try uh, doing something a bit crazy. Pretty impressive, must say. Uh, the orientation is pretty good. Like I said, I'm, I mean, don't forget I'm only using keyboard and mouse. So I think if you had full control over this, well, you know, with you know with a keyboard and mouse, this would be pretty blooming good. Uh, it's very impressive. The animation is very good anyway. You can see it can manoeuvre in ways that you know other planes definitely can. You could definitely outmanoeuvre someone with this. Definitely, it's dog flying or something like that would be pretty cool in this, wouldn't it? Imagine. If you had life flight stick or something. So let's hop back in. A few more rounds down. Right, let's see if we can um, start decreasing a bit of speed here. I'm totally not doing. Within about five seconds of actually. Uh, already overshot the runway so probably what I need to do is fly out actually I can actually land the other way can I let's uh, fly this way a little bit a 
Mind the view while we're here. Lovely sunset over there. Cross day. Eh? I'm way off in the runway here, but you know, fingers crossed. Actually, no chance. I mean, I'm coming in about 400 miles an hour, but look, anyway, look, I, I want to show you the ejector seat anyway because you've got to see this, it's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the ejector seat. Actually, we do actually we have to go into the other view here because you're going to miss out. I suppose I probably want to do it over land as well, and it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, let's go into ejector seat mode. There's two ways we actually we can look at this actually inside. Actually, let's go inside first of all. So I'm interested to see if he pulls the handle. Is he going to pull? Uh. Okay, when's the shoot going to happen? <laughs> well, this is a great way to finish it, guys. Oh, there we go. So, down with the plane. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, I ejected seated out earlier, and I thought that was pretty good, actually, I must admit. That was pretty impressive. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to make land here. Uh, it's probably took about six hours. Uh, but probably the best way to do this is to... Uh, here we go. Fly back in. Now, like I said, I mean, it's definitely worth giving this a go. I mean, it'd be fantastic to play this with a flight stick. It really would. Uh, because, you know, I think you could really utilise, you know, the capability of of the Hornet. You know what I mean? It's going to be great fun. Um, in fact, I probably think it's actually better than the stock one that we've got currently. So just particularly because of the manoeuvrability. Uh, there is a few little bugs here and there. I actually can actually see that. I wonder if I actually put that down now so you can actually see it. Uh, let's have a quick look. See if it lets me detract it now. Hang on. No, it's not going to let me. I'll show you what I mean. You know what I mean. If you look under it, there's a little arm that comes down. This arm here, fueling arm. Um, and you can detract and attract that as well when you're actually in the air. Um, so another little feature there, you know, it's been well thought out. You know, there's a few bugs here and there. But I think if you're thinking about making a mission or something like that, you know, why not just include this as well? You know, make it a little bit more exciting. Um, you know, fun to fly. Great with some sticks, uh, unlike my uh, terrible flying. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, more about a preview than my pr uh, flying skills. And just making you aware that, you know, we're, just, we're over these sort of next probably... I would say two weeks to a good few months, we're going to start seeing a lot more, uh, you know, content on the lines of planes and vehicles. I've actually seen a Swedish pack that's out now already. I've seen about four or five. Uh, I've seen the South African. Um, there's about five vehicles of the South Africans. You know, I'll do some other ones as well. I'll just, you know, it takes time to Google and find all these sort of things. But, you know, once this, once, you know, a few months go by, I think it's, the, you know, they're, start appearing on the Steam uh, library and you're bound to select them and they'll be inside missions anyway. Um, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that. That's my first look at the E-Super Hornet. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.